I don't think there's any timetable. I don't think anybody really knows. I just know that we're going to kind of move on to more baseball in-game type movements and activities and and uh, really get with him on not assuming something's going to happen on every play. You know, you might swing and miss. That's why I want him to see live hitting. He's really never done, he hasn't done that this spring. You're on the bases, you're, you're returning on a secondary lead. He hasn't really really done that. Um, you're at your position and you uh, you react to a foul ball. It's a real quick movement, but it's, you just quickly shut it down. So I'm going to try and progress to those type movements and then get him to have some actual game action uh, in the near future. Will he start doing that stuff at Salt River Field? Yeah. Away, mm, well, I think he'll be here with us this week, to the end of the week, and we'll send him over there to Salt River Fields and We'll see what happens, and then we'll, we'll we'll introduce those actions and movements I was just talking about. See how he comes out of that, and then uh, if he's okay, then we'll maybe after that we'll get him into a game. Games extended or actually extended, yeah. And when he's we have control over the situations when he when he hits, he he can run. We could put a courtesy runner in for him. You know, we're, we may let him run to first base. We may have him just play defense one day. Um, so we can control how much he plays and and how many days in a row. So he's not he's not going to go to Reno and play in a game all of a sudden. That's that's a ways away.